got some pavers going down here. We've got the Cambridge brick alley in coal, and uh, we're just doing a brick pattern, you know, splitting the seams here. Nice and simple. We've got three of these kind of feature squares uh, happening here, stepping back, and uh, it's going to tie it all together. We've got our safety coordinator, Seamus, here. Seamus, how are we looking? Uh, good. Just, you might want to move the pipe out of the way so you don't want to trip and fall straight into the stones or crack your head open on this. Can we get a pass today? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Passed our safety check. Thanks, Mr. Seamus. Yes, yeah, starting to come together. We've got these going down pretty quick. We wanted something uh, kind of simple, but this has a nice little texture on it, so it kind of kind of fits in with the stone vibe a little bit. It's not too modern, and uh, we're gonna have three of these like feature squares stepping back. You can see with our base how it's kind of it's gonna look really nice. Set this whole front elevation of the house off, and uh, I'm excited. This is gonna be like our first real before and after transformation of a front landscape, so I'm excited. You excited? Definitely. Cool. <laughs>
people trying to film here. Anyway, Catherine and Jose did a great job on finishing out the execution on this front. They did a great job finishing out this walkway. Uh, I love how it turned out. Let's kind of walk through it here, the design. We've got the Cambridge Brick Alley paver in coal. It's uh, you know, a nice tiny little paver. It looks good in this brick pattern. It's got a nice texture on it, which I love how it kind of complements the uh, smooth XL Platinum there. And we just have these three squares that subtly go back towards the house. It's gonna create a nice little uh, garden bed design as well. So I love how it turned out. Really nice, crisp, clean. We'll have some edge block around there. Now, man of the hour, Anthony Lombardo. Uh, nice. Yeah, right. Got a framing inspection this morning. Yes. Flying colors. Flying colors. I'm not sure how flying the guy came so early. Yeah, before I got here and I was learning late. Yeah, I got here at seven. Traffic. Traffic's seven. a bear. Anyway, uh, we got our framing inspection, so now we're finally ready to start laying our decking. Deck boards. And uh, it. Today's Monday, Wednesday. You're gone. I'm gone. We're going to HNA, Hardscape North America. Hit us up if you're going to be there. I won't be there. But this video won't be out yet. Oh. Okay. So. How was it then? Hopefully, if you were there, <laughs> I hope that we saw you. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to finish up all of the pavers. Okay. Before we leave, two yep. days. And uh, what do I get if if we get them down? You get a dollar. A like dollar, dollar signed by me, which is a rare thing. Only a few people have them. One being my soon-to-be mother-in-law. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna knock this out so that you're in good shape and uh, walk us through what we got going on on the deck here, how we prep for this, and, and what we got. So we got a pretty standard deck here. I think it's about eight feet by 14 feet. Two by 10 joists, solid blocking for our picture frame, planed flat with a planer tape to protect it, and then decorator stacking on top. I like to get as many field boards down as I can. So I'm cutting deck boards from the pile over there and bringing them over here so I can give myself a nice working space. And then uh, I'm gonna throw them down. And unfortunately, it's just me here today. One guy. So I'm gonna show you that this deck can be installed with just one guy very efficiently. And, uh, I mean, we're here. We're going to be hardscaping. You're not doing anything. No, we're going to be hardscaping. Trust me. So I'm getting that dollar. All right. You said there's no way that's going to be done before you leave for HNA. So we already got the front done. We already got the front done. Yes, the front is almost done. No, the front's done. You according to our block. Bet. No, edge block. That's part of the edge restraint. You said ready for uh, edge restraint. Uh, uh. That's going to act as our edge restraint. But we'll have that done too. Don't worry. Okay. It's all going to be locked in for justice. So I'm just gonna hang out out front. Is this how you always feel? Yeah, with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is nice. It's not nice. Oh, really? My back right. hurts carrying you. Ha! Huh. So yeah, we got the decorators coaster going down <laughs> with a nice Kaya accent. Nice classic color combo. Cool. We're gonna install it. I gotta it. get to work. I got a dollar to win. You're not working. You're still standing there. And I'm gonna get to work because it's just yeah, me here doing? today. Time to get to work here. We're moving some pavers and uh, need to make sure. Uh, Where's some gloves, you know? You don't want to get your hands all cut up, so. Yeah, all right. The that, the, the, the stuff in between. Oh, the lace. The lace doily. 
It's a paver doily. I don't know what the actual name is, but I hope it's not. I think it's just like a plastic mesh. Probably the technical term, I would imagine. Boring as hell. So this right here is why we need a full-size skid steer. This thing just doesn't have the muscle power to move uh, really much of anything. Doily? Doily. Let's go. Here and then borders here. So borders here, borders there. Is just gonna create a little square right here? No, not exactly. But <laughs> <laughs> now, like, since these are like this, like, and we're going like that and like this, you know, like we would have to have cut pieces. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we'll just we'll just do it like this. Look, this border. Just keep going to the edge. Straight, done. So this is just one line, and then we start fresh here. Start fresh. You but know then what what, yes, but what are we, the border? What are we gonna do about the border? Can't just like willy nilly do that. What are you talking then about? It won't line up and it's gonna look ridiculous. I don't know what you're talking about. I really, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean? <laughs> if you just start from this point, yeah, there's gonna have to be some sort of border adjustment or like that corner is not gonna line up nice. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't. Are you okay? I just don't know what you're talking about. Explain it better, I'm confused. I have no clue what you're talking about. These are all squares. No, that, that little one right there is a rectangle. They're all based on squares. So everything, this is two squares, this is four squares, this is six squares. Oh, okay. If you I start see, here, how I do it, it's like, shut it's up. Like that's one, <laughs> that's two of those, and that's three of those. Check this out. Yeah, well, I think I think we're we're kind of both saying the same thing, and neither of us understand what the no, other person's saying, which is fine. I'm not a good listener. You're not a good hearer. So, <laughs> all right, so here we'll stop. We'll start going this way. Now you get what I'm saying? Right, so yeah. where's the border gonna go? Where, here? Yeah. Against the deck. Does it line up perfectly? No. So then where's the cut gonna be? <laughs> the cut's gonna be at the end. I think I'm just, maybe I'm just not doing a good enough job explaining it. If the border comes to here, you want to start a paver here. Not lined up with this line? Not lined up with that line. That looks horrible. No, it gonna, doesn't! Then there's going to be a line, there's going to be a rip along that side. No, there's not. No, there's not. You're just going to do like a quarter inch no. rip out? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> just wait. Just wait and see. the replay. <laughs> but you're being rude again is what you're doing. I get it. Wow, what a surprise. Catherine's being very rude. <laughs> Getting our last little area of pavers ready. Here's a little tip for you. Whenever possible, we like to set our screed rails without having to use a laser because uh, it's just a little bit easier. So pretty much everywhere here, we're going off of an existing elevation. We're going off the stairs here. We're going off of our sunken fire pit area. So what you can do, go off your existing elevation. Make sure it's nice and level. And we want to be, did that say two inches? Two inches, perfect. That's what we want. So uh, we can do that off the stairs. Off the stairs we would want to be nine and a half, seven and a half inch rise, then two inches for our pavers. The pavers are about two and three eighths, but with compaction, that's gonna go down about a quarter to three eighths, so we should be good. Uh, last little bit of screed here. We'll lay it, make some cuts, we should be done. We 
got our curb stone in here and I'm just going around and checking that everything is level and making sure it's nice and locked in. This makes like a really nice clean look against the pavers, but it also serves a purpose because it's gonna keep the mulch from falling onto our freshly laid pavers. It just makes like a nice little set garden bed. So I really love the look of that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tap these in and then we'll set them with edge restraint. It's pretty simple. Let's begin. What I'm doing here, spraying out for a little concrete fingers. So check out the design, you see how we have these uh, pads in here kind of randomly distanced and all that kind of stuff. So what I like to do for something like this is uh, spray it out because it's gonna be sort of random, you know, it's sort of uh, intentional, sort of, you know, it's a little all over the place. So, so we've got one coming out seven feet, five feet, six feet. Maybe I'll mess around with that a little bit more, I don't know. And then we'll kind of do something similar on the other side. So let me show you what we got. Spraying them out here. That's pretty straight. Hey, what do you think? Good, no, you didn't even look at it. Come over here. What's the spacing between just two before? Uh, three inches. Two two by fours. I mean three and a half. Two two by fours plus a half inch gap. Yeah, insulation board so you can get the forms out. So. <laughs> What's gonna go in the gap? Stay tuned. You think this is a good offset though? You think I should go more and more aggressive with it? No, keep it subtle, man. We already got a lot going on we here, don't right? Take away from the project. And I think we'll do it the same the same stagger on both sides. What do you think? Yeah, make it the same. Okay. All right, but I'm gonna be going, so I need you to communicate this to Seti. As long as you give me something. Yeah. I'll give you something, all right. Yeah! <laughs> all right, it's gonna look nice, and then we're gonna have the hanging chairs right off of here. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Uh, all right, so now that we got all of our edge blocks set, the last thing is to do a concrete edging just to keep them really locked in and in place. Uh, so. It's not pretty, but it's concrete, and it's gonna be covered with dirt and mulch on this side, and on that side it'll be covered with grass, so it is a function, not a form, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, get the concrete in, that's it. Oh, there he is. What's up? Man of the hour. Yep. Got my dollar? <laughs> got my yeah, dollar? Get, Come on. Let me get it. Are you wondering if you get any of the dollar? Yeah. Nope. You just work here. It's part of your job. Come on. You're professional. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you get a quarter. <laughs> what? Yay. Then I get a quarter. For what? Light the fire under your so you get something done around. <laughs> right, well, can you at least sign it? No. Initials? Nothing? I didn't think you were going to finish today, so I didn't go to tap Mac. Oh, you didn't tap Mac today? <laughs> I have a dollar. Can I give you it? Then you'll owe me a dollar. <laughs> I guess the quarter's fine. U.S. Virgin Islands. I didn't know they had their own quarters. Well, we got front hardscape done, locked in for justice. We got Cambridge Brick Alley, Platinum XL, and then we got Curbstone looking dope. Really love how just simple and clean this little landscape is. We got decorators, Costa, Kaya combo. Nice, simple, clean, that's what we're going for here. And it's really coming together beautifully. Let's check out what we got out back, how I earned, well, it's really on a quarter now, but whatever. I'm not in it for the money, you know? Here we are, backyard paradise. We got just a nice simple little you know, border around here. We wanted super low maintenance. That's why we're not doing any plants in the backyard. This is gonna be just a simple place to enjoy. No maintenance. So we got the hardscape coming around. We got it going around the other side over there. And then we're gonna have our concrete pads poured to kind of set this place off. The hanging chairs will be going in there. We'll get to all that in the next video. So make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. And until next time, this has been Premier.
outdoor living.